Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com, and today I want to show you how to make metallic gradients inside of Procreate. So metallic gradients are just variations of color between light and dark of the same or similar colors. So if you have a, a, like a yellow color, you would choose a very, very dark version of that color, and then you would choose a very light version of that same color, and those two together would represent the light and the shadow that is being reflected in the gold. The same thing for rose gold, silver, any metallic color that you have, it's going to be a matter of shadow and light. So there's a lot of different metallics that you can make. In the examples that I'm showing you here, I have some reflective styles, but you can also create these in radial two-tones, like for spotlights and things like that. When you just need a, a quick background for lettering or whatever, you can make multiple circles for a rippled effect, two color blends that, that can look really, really beautiful as well. It's basically everything you can do inside of Photoshop if you are a Photoshop user. This time, the only difference between Photoshop and Procreate is that you're actually drawing your gradient on. So you can't make adjustments after the fact. You're, you're literally going to draw it out and create the gradient in that way. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to use this document that I'm already in. Don't worry about the size. You just want to understand the method. The size of the canvas doesn't really matter here. So what I'm going to do first is show you how to import some colors. If you don't know how to pick colors from uh, from the disk right here. So for me, I would just come up here, choose a color that looked like gold, uh, maybe right there. So if, if I were choosing that color, I would choose a really dark version of that. And then maybe come over here and choose a really light color. So I would have these two colors. But if you don't like choosing colors in that way or you're just not used to it, you can also create a color palette from a photo. So you just grab a photo from the internet or if you have a texture or something um, and you want to use that, you can definitely create palettes from there. So what I did was uh, I was on the disk right here. I'm going to click on this little icon right here on the right hand side and that's going to bring up my palettes here. I'm going to press that little plus icon at the top of the screen and then I'm going to get this little fly out and I'm going to choose new from photo. So I'm just going to choose from all of these some colors. Maybe um, I'll pick this one right here and you can see it just automatically added all of the colors from that photo into a color palette here. So now I know that all of these colors are part of gold. And what I want to do is choose a shadow color and a highlight color. You can choose colors, variation of color in between. But to get a basic gold, all we need is a shadow and a highlight. So I'm going to choose this color right here. And I'm just going to draw on the screen. I'm just going to make the basic gradient here. So I'm going to draw on the screen and then hold it down to straighten it out and then drag that over just to fill that section right there with that color. Do the same thing over here. Then fill on this side with that color. So basically, and these don't have to be even. It doesn't have to be perfect. We have the two shadow sides and then in the middle here I have the highlight. So I'm going to come up here to the adjustments icon choose Gaussian Blur, choose Layer, and then you'll see the little message at the top. It says Gaussian Blur Slide to Adjust. So I'm going to use my Apple Pencil or my finger and then just slide across the screen. And I usually keep this between 40 and 50. I think it looks best between uh, those two. So maybe I'll go about 50% on this one. And that's the first gradient. It's a very basic, very simple gradient. I'm going to add a new layer and turn that one off. And I'm going to do that same thing, but I'm going to make it a little more reflective. So I'll just add this right here. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm not trying to be perfect on this. You can if you want to be. Uh, but I just want to give you some examples, and then I'm just going to do a a line down the middle. So now I have two highlight areas. So it's going to be more of a, ref, uh, you know, like a rippled reflective area. So I'm going to come up here to adjustments, Gaussian blur, layer, and then 
adjust this to maybe about 40% or so. And that's our second right there. Let me turn that one off. I want to show you a spotlight style. So I'm just going to choose this right here. I'm going to fill the whole screen with that color. And then I'm going to come back in and use just a plain white or really light pink color. And I'm just going to come in and make a circle just here in the center. And that's it. Now I'm just going to come up here to the adjustments, Gaussian blur, layer again, and drag this across the screen just like I did before. This time I'm going a little bit further with the percentage. So I've met 60, I'll go about 65% or so for this one. The further you go, it's just going to disappear. So we want to go about 65. This is just going to give us our little spotlight effect for our background. That is the spotlight effect. And with this, you know, you can leave it here in the center. You can bring it over here to the corner like that, you know, and kind of have like this radial effect too. You can, you know, move them around to different spots and stuff. It doesn't have to be right here in the center. So these are pretty flexible once you have them made anyway. So I'm going to add a new layer, turn that one off. And then well, I'm going to make another pink. Let's see, I'll use uh, this color right here. I'm just going to do a paint, a really light pink gradient and do that same thing with the color in the middle. Maybe add a little bit of dark pink and maybe I'll add this color here to the edges and then I'm going to come here to adjustments, Gaussian blur layer again, and then go out like that. So now we have a little bit more dimension to that gradient. I could have even added a little bit, you know, in the middle section right there. So I'll come back in here and maybe add just a little line right there. Go back to my original color, give myself a little bit more space here. And then I'll come back in here, adjustment, Gaussian blur, layer, and blur that in. And then I can turn this to get, you know, like the diagonal gradients, move it around in any way that I need. Or I could have just drawn it out in a diagonal as well. So I'm going to show you an example of that. So I'm going to come in here with this light pink color and just draw a line straight down. Fill that in there and then choose like a really dark color here. And I'm going to fill that in on the other side. And then I'll go back here to the Gaussian blur. You can see how you can get a nice gradient in that way as well. So those are just a few styles and different ways that you can make gradients inside of Procreate. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.